Well, in advance of the weekend, Summerfest is making its way to South Jersey. It's an area rich with farmland and historic towns. So let's head out to Medford, where we find Pat Gallen, who went on a journey, journey through the Pine Barrens. Good morning, Pat. Good morning. Yeah, here in Medford, New Jersey, there are quaint little shops, a bunch of cute little restaurants. It's just a nice town overall. But if you go just outside the town and into the Pine Barrens, there's plenty to see and do. And I did just that. You may not realize it, but the Pine Barrens take up 1.1 million acres of land in New Jersey, or roughly 22% of the land area of the state. That means it's ripe for exploration. Pineland's adventures can help. We take river trips on the Batstow and Mullica River. Most people that come go on a self-guided trip. We also do a number of guided educational programs. So we have school tours, we have public guided tours, we do small group bus tours about Pine Barrens history, ecology, and culture. Now in their fourth season, Pineland's Adventures is part of the Pinelands Preservation Alliance, which is dedicated to protecting the area. So there's a learning aspect, but a physical challenge as well with canoeing and kayaking. Volunteer Katie Green gets out here as often as she can. I actually recently got more into conservation and environmental things, um, and it's a really ecologically unique place. They taught me a lot about all the unique plants and wildlife that we have here, and I like to just spread the word and let other people know because education is important. I settled on a guided trip through the pines with a few friends eager to do some discovering. We've just entered Wharton State Forest, folks. This is the largest state forest in the state of New Jersey. After a two-mile trek, we reached the beautiful Mullica River. Rob Barnes Lauks was our guide. Hey, Pat, are rock. you ready to do this? I'm ready. All right, my friend, welcome to the Pine Barrens. Thank you. We're happy to have you here. So this is going to be your yak, and there's a few things you need to know about paddling out here, mm -hmm. but first I want to get you in the boat. After a quick tutorial, we were out for a ride. So how's it feel so far, Pat? Feels good, nice and smooth. Excellent. We pushed against the current, making our way to the Locks Bridge and Beaver Pond area, known for its winding waterways and charming views. This whole section over here to the right is all carnivorous plants. We've got pitcher plants and sundew, and they're all starting to bloom right now. This is the best time. We're, we're just into the warmer air. The bugs are, for the most part, at bay. A normal tour takes about two hours. And that's plenty of time to enjoy the beautiful scenery of the New Jersey Pine Barrens. And did you know that under our boats was the Kirkwood Cohanesy Aquifer, a massive freshwater aquifer that supplies New Jersey with some of the purest water in the country. So not only was it pristine below the water, it was pristine above the water as well. So I would highly recommend a trip down the Mullica River through the Pine Barrens of New Jersey. And Jim and Rahel coming up in the 6 o'clock hour. We're going to hit the pop shop here in Medford, New Jersey. Oh. Try out some of their fun breakfast wow. dishes, which I'm always up for. Looking forward to that. And now I know I'm supposed to call my kayak a yak. A yak. That's what I'm the... now getting the lingo. <laughs> exactly. Young folks are calling it. Yes. Thank okay. you, Patrick. Well, uh, Summerfest in South yacker. Jersey continues all day long. Later today, we'll be live at Johnson's Corner Farm for their Strawberry Festival. CBS3 is proud to showcase all the great things you can do in Burlington County.